Hey, Jimmy with Cuffing Stuff. Man, we got another good one for you. We're gonna do a holiday ham. Easter's coming up and we're doing a ham for Easter. Now, this is a habanero peach glazed spiral sliced ham. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's so easy to do. Do it on the smoker. You'll never turn back. So, hang tight. All right, to start off, let's start with some melted butter and about Nah, that's a stick of butter and that's probably a half, maybe a little more of natural honey. Now, this is good South Carolina honey. This comes from, and I'll show you, let me get it all over into the bowl. I don't want to waste any of this honey because this is good stuff here. Let me get all of this over into it this is live oak bee farm honey from Edisto South Carolina this is my buddy Scott's honey that he does and he gave me some to try and what better to use it on than this all right I'm gonna take and mix this up the butter and the honey this butter is still nice and warm. Okay, we got that a good start. All right, to that, you know it was coming, right? This is Uncle Steve Shake. This is Dessert Shake. Good stuff. I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of Dessert Shake and mix it in with it. Now, if you've ever had a honey glazed ham from online, and I think that's what that company is called, honey glazed ham, they're not cheap. But if you'll do it like this, you are gonna be surprised what you get. So let me get this mixed up. And when I get it like I want it, I'll bring you back and we're gonna start for prepping our ham. Okay, we've got our butter, our dessert shake, and our honey mixed up. And I'm just gonna take this and start drizzling it over the top. Now, I'm gonna open this. This is a spiral cut ham. And I'm gonna start opening it up and I'm just going to take, and you see the consistency, I'm just going to take and start drizzling it down between the slices like this. It's already sliced, so I don't want to break all these pieces off. I kind of want them to stay together. But I'm going to do every spot, every slice, and drizzle this down in here. Okay. There we go. I'm going to get some of this left over. On the top, I want to be sure to get all the sides. And again, you have to be careful because it is spiral cut already. Mm. This is already, I know. Mm. Mm -mm -mm what I like oh 
Okay, so I've got it glazed. I'm going to take and lay this on a rack, just like that. And I want to make sure that I get this top and the bottom down here. Side I had laying down. And you see that amount worked just right. That got all the way around. Now I've got my smoker up to temp. So let me go over. I'm going to put this on the smoker. And when I do, I'll bring you back. All right, smoker's up to temp. Let's put him on. We're going to put him on right there. Close him up. All right. I've got it on 220. I'm going to let it smoke for two hours. That's just to double smoke it. This is a pre-cooked spiral ham. Okay. So all I want to do is I want that honey butter shake mixture to get all through the meat I want some some more smoke I'm on just I'm warming it up a little bit at 220 so it's that's mostly smoke so after two hours I'll bring you back okay while we're waiting on our ham let's take our and make our glaze that we're going to use let's take about half a cup that's about right I'm just eyeballing it but that's about right take about half a cup of brown sugar gotta have brown sugar not only does this sweeten the ham up on the outside but it also helps crisp it up and I want to make sure I got any big balls of brown sugar all right this is habanero peach jam this was made my by my sister-in-law in Georgia shout out to Brenda all right I'm going to use about half of this. This is eight ounces. I'm going to use about four of it. To that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of, this is just regular Dijon mustard and let's stir this up and what I want you to see is the consistency that this turns out to be I think the mustard goes good with ham and it mixes in with these flavors now this jam is not hot it does have habanero in it it gives it a little kick, but you can see that it's still pretty runny. And the last thing I'm going to put in, believe it or not, this is important, okay? This is cornstarch, okay? I'm going to put about a tablespoon of cornstarch in with it and that's it there you go that's my glaze for this ham okay well here we go it's time to add on our glaze and we are going to put this on pretty thick the 
recipe I gave you for the glaze should be just right for this size ham. Now this was about 10 pounds of spiral cut ham. All right, there's my glaze. Now I'm gonna continue to use this rack. It makes it so easy to handle the ham. When I get it up to temperature, I'm gonna take it back over to the smoker, put it on. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see how quick it does. I can't tell you ahead of time how long I'm gonna have it on there, but I will when I take it off. So stick with me. Okay, this is our holiday ham. We've taken it off. We let that glaze set at 4, 425 is where our smoker got to. We let it set, and here's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, what a holiday ham. Now, look at this. Oh my goodness. I'm going in. Mm. The smoke flavor, the glaze, perfect. Oh my goodness. That's so good. I'm going back. Mm. It's juicy, it's tender. A glazed ham taste. Oh my goodness. Hey, thanks for seeing how this was going to turn out. It turned out fantastic. The honey glazed ham uh, prep that we did on it. Oh my goodness, you taste it, it comes through. The glaze that we did with that habanero, the Uncle Steve shake, what a combination. So, until next time, hey, thanks for hanging around. If you haven't already, hit the circle on this side. I'll have another video for you down here. You won't miss a thing if you subscribe. So, hang tight.